Hello, everybody. Welcome back. I'm Medium Kim. I'm an intuitive and energy medicine practitioner. And so happy to see you on this Sunday afternoon. I would like to talk to you about becoming more powerful in your intuition. And how can you do that? I want to encourage those who are listening today. And this is my opinion, by the way, entertainment purposes only, that if you can take some time to get to know yourself, your energies, your power, your inner light, you will become more intuitive. Some people feel like they need to hear their guides to tell them what to do. I hear this so much. Remember, you don't want to give your power away. It doesn't matter whether it's an incarnate person or a discarnate soul or spirit being. You have free will. Do not allow the idea that an angel is going to come down and just tell you what to do or a spirit guide or whoever. You might get nudges. But if you're finding that you're being told what to do, I would question the motive of that guide or that spirit. So a, a true angel will never interfere, will also never force you or tell you you must do something. At least this is in my opinion. Now, you can get to know your own higher self, your own power, which is unlimited. We are unlimited beings. And if we can bring that power and that light inside and let it shine out, then we don't have to worry about having to protect ourselves because we're working with our own power. You can't protect yourself from yourself. You don't have to worry about negative energies attacking to you because, again, you're not going to attack yourself. You can channel your higher self. You can do intuitive guidance for yourself and others. You can meet other people's guides. Um, so it's a, it's a powerful tool. And, and really, it's simple. Um, it is really just sitting in the quiet getting to know your own energies, knowing what it feels like to be you, knowing when uh, your, how your body feels, how your heart feels, how the chakras feel, sitting in the quiet so you understand yourself. And then as you do that, though, you're bringing in the power of your higher self, your soul essence. You're bringing that down into your heart and bringing that into your heart, and then you become more powerful. So I want to encourage you to please not compare yourself. If you aren't seeing or hearing your guides, you have other gifts. And plus, when people start saying to me, well, I hear my guides say this and this, I always question the motive. What's the motive of that guide if they are hearing it? All right, what is the motive? Why is somebody telling you what to do? Okay, so, so anyway, one way, again, sitting in the quiet, sitting with dedicated empowerment for yourself. And it's a, it's a way to imagine that you've got your soul essence. So you connect to your heart first. You breathe in your heart. You, you fill your heart with light and you bring it out a bit. You bring as much light as you can. You bring it, in, start on the inside and bring it out. But you also imagine connecting to oneness of your higher self. Connecting to that oneness of your higher self. And then you bring it down to maybe the third eye and the heart. And then bring the third eye and the heart together in meditation. You focus on both at the same time. And that makes a really wonderful tool to Empower yourself with greater intuition, 
soul power, knowledge, and, and you know, your own guiding system. So, and here's something else that I think is just totally amazing. Back in the 80s and 90s or so, we were, I mean, my friends anyway, well, how many guides do I have? Does it matter if I have five or two or three? You know, does it make me more important if I have six guides, right? Or who are my guides? But now what are we doing today? Look how much we have advanced. Now we are asking, what star seed am I? Well, I mean, what's my star seed heritage? What's my heritage? Now, and after we're talking about off the earth heritage. So this, that in itself, we have, <laughs> we are, and this is happening fast. This is, I mean, the last year, right? We're on a new journey now. So, so be ready, but put your seat belts on, get to know your own power so that you won't be afraid. You will be protected. You'll know who you are. So when these other energies come in, You'll, you'll get the feel. Is this a positive or is it a negative? You know, but get to know your own power first. So thank you for listening to that. I would like to have a small little, just a tiny little meditation to walk to uh, kind of walk you through that as an, as an example of one. It's a very short one. I would normally suggest sitting in the power for maybe 15 to 20 minutes a day, maybe twice a day, even if you really wanted to. Um, but that, but it's, it's important. And for myself, I, I notice uh, my, my intuition is better when I sit in the power. Now, some people, it doesn't matter. Those are the rare people. Okay. There are some like that, but not the common. Most of us like me need, I have to have that time of quiet where I get to know my own energies. So, um, and also Remember, I've got Psychic Practice Circle. I want to have a new name for that. If you have any ideas for a new name, it starts on Tuesday. It's a bargain, you guys, because you can come at, up to four times a week. And it's very inexpensive. Some of my friends are doing the same thing only once a week and for the same price. So just know um, it's a bargain. We're, Tuesdays are psychic. Thursdays are mediumship. It doesn't mean you have to come to every single one. You can come just to once a week. It's still a good deal. Okay. So now let's, if you can, um, find a comfortable place. If you want to join me now for a very short, we'll probably just do this for five minutes. Um, a short little meditation of what you could kind of use to sit in the power. You can always make this longer. I, like I said, 20 minutes would be good, but I just want to give you like a little sampler. Okay, so you want to find it, you know, get your wiggles out, sit comfortable, and remember that we are going to be bringing in the power that has no beginning and no end. So just imagine now that you're always starting with the breath, you just, the breath of love, the breath of life, breathing in, a nice rhythmic and exhale, letting go, and just maybe about three breaths. And releasing and letting go. And now imagine as you are, you are a beautiful, bright light, more than you know. So just pretend you've got this bright light way above your head. That's you, your higher self. You can imagine whatever color, maybe it's white or gold, yellow, green, blue. See that light. Know it's part of you. And just imagine bringing it in with a breath and bringing it down to your heart. Putting that light of you in your heart. And your ever, ever effervescent light, let it start inside and move out, expand out a bit within your auric field. Just stay in your auric field right now. And this light will serve you better if you can feel grounded. So you can take some of this 
light down to the earth. And all the way down, and you might pull up different colors. You might pull up red, orange, yellow from the earth. And bring that up into your heart. Keeping your light into you within your field here. And now you can imagine that you can reach higher now with maybe the turquoise blue and purple light and you're reaching up, grabbing more of your soul light, reach connecting to the soul light and bringing it right back down to your heart. And in the heart center, the balancer in between all the, in the middle of the chakras is now a green light, a green light. And that fills your heart and your auric field. And just stay there for a moment with a breath of green. And now move your awareness and focus to your third eye, which is connected to your higher self, as well as your heart, but just focus on the third eye first. And breathing in the blue and violet lights. Now connecting your third eye and your heart, focusing on those two at the same time with each breath. With the word now, oneness. Or higher self. Breathing in those words. And you can imagine that your soul light is being connected even stronger to your heart light. And each breath becomes stronger and brighter and more empowering. Opening to love. Opening to your higher self. And now just take a moment for gratitude for this connection to your higher self. And thanking yourself and saying, I love me. I am a powerful being. I am intuitive. And I am a guide. And when you are ready, you may open your eyes and spend a little time writing the, with the ant question, what does my soul want me to know today? Spend a little time with that. And when you are done, in about a minute or two, you know, you have just channeled your higher self. 
I would love to hear what you all think. If you agree with me or don't, uh, any suggestions and um, any comments, of course. Blessings, be well, and I will see you soon. Um, don't forget to sign up for uh, the Psychic Circle starting uh, Tuesday. Bye-bye.